हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू मैजिक मैथ स्ट्रैट डू यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द साम ऑफ स्क्वेयर्स ऑफ द नेचुरल नंबर्स अप टू हंड्रेड इफ यू नो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इट माइड बी जस्ट द फॉर्मूला यू नो बट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दैट फॉर्मूला एंड this formula can't be created using arithmetic progression or ap i will create this formula using just one basic formula in algebra which is a plus b whole cube now following the formula for a plus b whole cube we get k plus 1 whole cube equals to k cube plus 3k square plus 3k plus 1 now just take the k cube from the right side to the left side which becomes k plus 1 whole cube minus k cube equals to 3k square plus 3k plus 1 now in this form just putting k equals to 0 we get 1 cube minus 0 cube equals to 3 multiplied by 0 square plus 3 multiplied by 0 plus 1 and putting k equals to 2 we get 2 cube minus 1 cube equals to 3 multiplied by 1 square plus 3 multiplied by 1 plus 1 then putting k equals to 3 we get 3 cube minus 2 cube plus uh, equals to 3 into 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus 1 and continuing in this way i will write the last terms now which are k equals to n minus 1 if we put that we get n cube minus n minus 1 cube equals to 3 into n minus 1 whole square plus 3 times n minus 1 plus 1 and the next is k equals to n which gives me n plus 1 cube minus n cube equals to 3n square plus 3n plus 1 now we are going to add all this we are going to calculate the left hand side here you can see that when we put k equals to 0 we get 1 cube minus 0 cube in the next where we put k equals to 1 we get 2 cube minus 1 cube so one of the one cube is positive and one of the one cube is negative and you can see that one of the two cube is positive and one of the two cube is negative and the same thing keeps happening with the continuation that is 3 cube also has a negative part 4 cube also will have a negative part so continuing in this way we can see that up to the last term we have a positive end cube and a negative end so all these terms which have a positive and a negative part they will cancel each other out on the left hand side what is remaining is n plus 1 whole cube minus 0 now when we add the right hand sides of these identities we will uh, start adding them vertically so you can see the uh, circles i have put to add them vertically so first uh, we will calculate the violet circle okay now you can see that all the terms in the violet circle have a common factor in them which is 3 so we can take that out and write this addition as 3 multiplied by in the bracket 0 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n minus 1 whole square plus n square so put a plus sign then we will add the orange circle and the case is pretty similar to the previous one. here also you can see that the 3 is actually common again so we can take it out and we can write 3 multiplied by the terms which are 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1 plus n now for the last circle which is the blue circle you can see all are just ones so how many ones are there we started with putting k equals to 0 and ended with putting k equals to n so 1 to n is n terms and since we started from 0 so it becomes n plus 1 terms so if you add n plus 1 once you get n plus 1 now we can see that on the left hand side we are we are only left with n plus 1 whole cube and on the right hand side we have 3 multiplied by the sum of squares of the natural numbers which is just 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n minus 1 square plus n square. then i have written 3 multiplied by n times n plus 1 divided by 2 now this n times n plus 1 divided by 2 is the sum of first n natural numbers well if you don't know this sum of n first n natural numbers well you can check my video out in the i button in the top right corner 
or you can find the link in the description so go watch that video to understand properly and then we have the n plus 1 from the previous step so write that down now one thing, in this whole process we are not gonna touch this sum of squares of natural numbers which are 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square so keep that on one side of the equation and take all the other terms to the other side of the equation and we get 3 multiplied by 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to n square equals n plus 1 whole cube minus 3 times n times n plus 1 divided by 2 minus n minus 1. So now we have to add or subtract whatever operations are there on the right hand side so let's write the left hand side as it is equals to now we are just performing the additions and subtractions uh, in the natural way so in the next step again the left hand side is written as it is equals to in the right hand side we get after all the operations 2n cube plus 3n square plus n by 2 now again write the left hand side as it is equals to so you can see on the upper part of this fraction on the right hand side that all the terms have n in common so take that out we get n multiplied by 2n square plus 3n plus 1 divided by 2 now the final form you can use the simple factorization method in algebra middle term method and you can factorize the 2n square plus 3n plus 1 into two parts one is n plus 1 and another one is 2n plus 1 so finally we get the result that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus up to n square equals to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Now the 6 is because there was a 3 on the left hand side which was multiplied to the sum of squares and we have taken that to our right hand side it becomes a division. Well I will show you one example with 100 natural numbers. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to 100 square the sum equals to since we have 100 natural numbers so just put 100 in the place of n. So we get 100 times 101 times 201 divided by 6 and the answer you can see on the screen. Well I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions or anything to say, you can comment down below. I will definitely try to read them and reply to them. And if you find this video helpful, then like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon also for getting notifications of my videos. And thanks for watching guys. I will meet you in the next video.